Historical Minnesota story time. You got wood? Minnesota does. Land of 10,000 lakes is also home to 17 million acres of forest. That's 26,000 square miles or 20% of the entire state. But out of those 17 million acres, 40 are a little more special than the rest. Of these millions and millions of acres, a good portion of that is big red and white pines like you see here behind me. And despite these ones here in my own backyard being impressively tall, these are pretty young trees. In fact, 98% of Minnesota forest is new growth. And that's because in the 1800s, Minnesota was one of, if not the largest lumber producers in the country and even the world. And as a result, the entire state was basically clear cut of all the forests that grew here. All save for some trees that were almost inaccessible up in the boundary waters. And a little 40 acre tract in the middle of Chippewa National Forest, I was able to hide from loggers for nearly a century and would become known as the Lost 40. I was able to accomplish this thanks to the mistake of a surveyor, Joseph A. King and his three man crew back in November of 1882. This was one of the first surveys of the Minnesota Northwoods. They were about 40 miles out and they were plotting the location of Lake Coddington. And I'm assuming they were cold and they were wet because it was November in Northern Minnesota. And they were probably shivering a little bit as they marked down the location of Lake Coddington on the map. Then they were like, fuck it, close enough, we're going home. And as a result, Lake Coddington was marked half a mile further Northwest than it actually was. So the loggers just never went there because when they looked at the map it said it was underwater. As a result of some surveyors not being very good at their job, the Lost 40 was spared the axe and would not be discovered until 1960, at which point it was the oldest old growth stand of red and white pines in the entire state. It was protected as a subpark at Chippewa National Forest. It contains 200 to 400 year old trees that make mine look like saplings. So if you're ever in north central Minnesota and you want to see some big wood, it's well worth taking the time to make the hike to see the Lost 40.